Hey guys, what's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back again to another video tutorial from the Apex Predator Billiards Club. My name is Apex Selenio and in today's tutorial video, we are going to be doing a requested video. Of course, this is a part two of a kicking system that I had done early on my channel about three or four months ago. A link is in the description down below. And of course, a link is right here in the cards for you. The SID system, one of the most precise kicking systems when you're kicking to an object ball from the short reel to the side reel or from the end reel or side reel to the opposing uh, short reel there. Of course, do check that video out. A lot of views, well, at least a lot of views based on my subscribers um, were on that video. And still picking up views, a lot of you guys still like this system. And of course, uh, one of my subscribers requested that I did a video talking about how to kick at an object ball that is not necessarily on the rail this was requested a few months ago but i'm now just getting the time to actually do this video so all right so if this is the first time here on the channel my name is apex selenio from the apex predator billiards training where we help pool players to develop different aspects of their game mainly the kicking position play banking and of course your safety game these are the four important aspects that will get you to the next level in terms of becoming a very consistent pool player and by extension transcending into the level of becoming a pro so if this is the first time here do not forget to smash that subscribe button below turn that thumbs up blue do not forget to share this to your pool families friends and uh, pool playing community and do not forget to uh, of course leave me a comment down below so let's jump right into today's lesson the sit system precise kicking system part two all right guys so of course i'm assuming that you had already watched the video again a link is placed in the description and right here in the cards for you check that video out we're going to just quickly do a review of the diamond numbering for this system here and of course as mentioned before the pocket here the object ball number uh this pocket here is counted as five and every half diamond on the short rail here is of course counted by half diamond increments and this is five this is four and a half this diamond is four three and a half three two and a half two and of course right here is going to be uh one all right so it is one two and from two we start to go by half diamond two and a half three three and a half four four and a half five and of course right here the cue ball Anywhere down in this half of the table, whether it's the end reel or the short reel here, uh, the short reel or the side reel here, it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, going around, this is becoming 100, 120, and 140. So what we're going to be doing here, guys, is actually just going right now and we're going to be trying to kick at the one ball. I just have to grab my chart here a little bit, guys. So we're going to be kicking at, I'm going to be actually kicking at the two ball here and let's just get that one ball out of the way i'm just going to leave my cue ball where it is right now all right and so <clears throat> what we're gonna have to do here is just try to pick again it's not on the rail but if you can pick a diamond that if the cue ball was to head towards that diamond you have a chance of making contact and by extension if you're lucky you're going to make that object ball so here i believe that if i can actually uh pick diamond 4.5 then I will actually make contact with the two. But how do I get to diamond 4.5? I'm actually in line with diamond seven. All right, because remember this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I multiply seven by 4.5, I'm gonna get 31.5, mathematically speaking. So if I aim, say here, this is 30 and this is 31, then I know that about here, if I aim the cue ball, then I should come towards 4.5 and I should be able to make contact with the two and perhaps potentially pocket in the ball. So here we go, seven to 4.5. We may have to do a little bit of parallel shifting a little bit here. So I'm just gonna aim exactly at 30.5 or say 31. Top spin. 
and that's nicely contacted. All right, on a good day, you're always gonna make that object ball there. And of course, it is definitely worth having. All right, so here, again, I'm just gonna place my object cue ball down here, just randomly at a spot. And again, I'm just gonna try to kick at the three ball here. So I'm gonna try to make a random guess, okay? I'm not trying to make the ball, I'm actually just trying to make contact. And I'm gonna try to kick at the three ball here, all right? And so I'm thinking that, okay, let's just pick diamond four. Okay, diamond four. And um, I'm here at diamond, say I'm at diamond 10, because this is eight, this is nine, this is 10. So 10 times four gives me 40. All right, so if I go here, all right, and aim at diamond four, let's put it right here to reference. If I aim at diamond four, then coming off here, and if I aim at diamond four, I'm actually going to miss the three ball. So diamond four is not actually the correct one. Let's try to pick, say, diamond three then. Let's try that one. So again, 10 times three, all right, 10 times three, that's 30. So if I aim here at 30, and again, I'm perhaps going to miss the ball. So that tells me now if I chose diamond four or diamond three and I'm not getting in the line of the three, then it means that I perhaps need to choose diamond 3.5. So 10 times 3.5, that's will give me 35. And that's about here. And you can see that here, I should be able to make contact with the left side of the three. And I'm not sure if you want to try to make the shot. I don't advise it, but you just simply try to uh, make contact. So aiming at diamond 3.5, that's just above the top nipple of the side pocket here. And that's nicely done there. Nice contact there on the three. All right. So you can see that this system is precisely accurate. A lot of you guys may not necessarily think that the mass is needed, but as I said, this is something that you do in practice. And when you practice it a lot, it tends to be really, really easy. And you can also use other diamond referencing. So you don't necessarily have to do the math while you're in the game. I do, but I've been doing kicking systems for so long that once I do a reference calculation, then all I do is just kind of parallel shift and it just always seems to work. So here, I'm just gonna put the one ball right here, okay? Let's put a couple of object balls surrounding it, all right? And I'm gonna try to make contact with the one. And potentially I'm gonna try to make this shot here, all right? So I'm right here at the one, and, I'm, and again, I'm just going to perhaps just put my ball, cue ball down here, okay? So once again, I'm gonna make an educated guess. If I were to aim at the one ball and say perhaps go to say diamond four, let's try diamond four here, all right? Let's calculate. And I'm at diamond 12. So I know that 12 times four is, okay, remember this is eight, this is 10, this is 12. So 12 times four is 48. So here is 50. And so two diamond, two diamond increments, that is 0.2 off here, is about here, that's diamond 48. So I'm imagining that if I were to aim about here and hit diamond four, you can see that I'm perhaps going to be touching the left side of the one. So I could perhaps, if I want to make a foolish kind of contact, I want to actually aim at about 47 maybe, or 48, uh, 47 and a half, the earlier about, just to be precise. And if I aim there, I should be able to make contact with the one and potentially making it. So here we go. Here, I'm just going to be playing with the tops. And that's a nice full contact. And I didn't need to worry about using spin. For the SID system, we don't use spin unless the angle of the calculation is not available and we perhaps need to create or lessen the angle. All right, so this is how powerful this SID system is. You can actually do it also when you're aiming towards on a full table. So on a full table, guys, I did post a video also, a part two to the SID system for the full table kicking. All right, remember that this diamond here is one, 
This diamond here is two, and after two, we start to go up by two and a half, half diamond increments. So two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five. So let's say I place an object ball that is, say perhaps, say here, it's not really on the rail, but it's somewhere here. And I'm, let's say, I am, let's place it here, actually, all right? And I'm kicking, say, from this spot here. That's gonna be doing about two examples or so, all right? So again, all I need to do now, guys, is just to pick a diamond that I need to kick up. Let's first examine the object ball's position. This is one, two, three, four, and as we bend the corner, then this is 4.5, five. Now, be careful that you're not calculating the cue ball's position adjacent to the cue ball, but you're calculating, calculating the cue ball's position from the direction to which you're aiming. So even though I'm across from five, I'm not aiming from five, I'm aiming from four and a half here. So an easy way to do this is that if you, if you actually are like at say a number, take off a half diamond. So if you're at six, you're more than likely aiming from five and a half. That's an easy way to do it. So now I'm aiming from four and a half. And if say for example, I pick four and a half, then I know that four times four and a half, that's going to give me 18, yes? And of course, a half of four and a half, so that's gonna give me about 21, dear, dear about, mathematically speaking. So if I aim from here and I aim at 21, that's about here, I should be able to make contact with the left side of the one. And you're gonna just play this ball with top spin here, all right? So mathematically speaking, that's about 21 here. And that's a nice contact there on the one, and you're sure to always make contact. Now, there are several different kicking systems out here, guys. It doesn't have to be mathematical. For me, I resonate a lot with mathematical calculations because my job outside of school is being a math teacher. But for you, you can use parallel kicking systems, so many different systems out here. I have a lot that is non-numerical, and I also have a lot that is numerical. So it is up to you as a pool player what you like to do. Of course, do not forget to smash that subscribe button below, guys. Turn on the post notification bell to watch more kicking systems, safeties, banking, jumping, and all the different components of the game that will mature you, or will develop you into a mature pool player. And of course, be able to shock your opponents whenever they leave you into difficult positions all right so turn that thumbs up blue guys leave me a comment down below let me know what you think about the video and of course do not forget to share my content out to your pool communities do take care until next time this is apex Selenio signing out with another great build-up develop your game with consistency precision and control peace